Well, here we go. We got a stained glass mirror with barbed wire and, and paper. I'm gonna show you how to make it with all these things and that's that. Oh, that's too fast. I need to slow that down. sponsored by Squarespace. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some paper and go ahead and draw a bean. I knew it was a bean because I wrote that before I did this voiceover, but you're gonna draw a bean and then just make some squigglies around it. And that's your whole idea is we're gonna make squigglies and then do croissants because cr those croissants are gonna go around the bean. I, I, I'm too tired to do this voiceover. Let's be honest. I got it, we're so close. So I sketch out an idea trying to figure out what I'm going to do and in the end I like the, the the croissant idea so I design that out on Illustrator and then I make sure that those little croissants are evenly spaced around the bean and then make little noodles around them and after those noodles are all in place I will need a border and I turn those noodles into the super S thing I color it in make sure I liked how it looked colored and I wanted a little bit smaller and longer S's and wanted to like penetrate the croissants. With the design all made, I realized that the heart could be a little bit bigger, so I printed it out into four separate sheets and taped them together. And I numbered each of the little pieces. That's gonna be so many pieces. I think it ended up being like 130 pieces or something. So I gotta cut out those pieces, but first I gotta cut out the paper. So I cut out that part and with the heart cut out, kind of cut out each of the little individual pieces because I'm going to glue those to the the, the glass. But uh, I didn't want to film that. I was lazy. And once they're all cut out, I'm just going to super glue. That's not super glue. That's rubbing cement. So I rubber cement it on. And I want to do as little work as possible. So if I got that close to the edge, that's going to make cutting it easier. And there are all the black and white pieces. I am not envious to whoever has to cut those out. Uh, my friend JMO actually came and helped cut those out. But anyways, we'll get to that later. So to do the mirror, I just got again as close as I can to uh, the paper. That's going to make shaving it down easier. And that took my little, my brain can't even think of the words of those. Pliers? There's an actual word for them. Hmm? Someone's going to put them in the comments because people know about stained glass way more than I am. I'm just a little novice here. But I'm just going to cut out as much as I can and use the all oh, that the word for those that are going to come into my head. Well, at some point, cramp, camp, camping cramps, dragging, freaking dragging. I could look it up right now, but it's funner to guess. But anyways, so I cut it again as close as I can. And trying to do not as like wavy as a line as I could or like trying to make the line as straight as possible so that the break is easier. And then to do that really V looking part, I just did it a little bit at a time. And even that was getting so sketchy. But yeah, no, we're good. So I'm gonna do that again. This time I was brave. I'm like, I'm gonna do a little V and hopefully that won't break. Maybe do some like relief cuts in there and then take the pliers. Oh, I was almost there. I almost remembered what they were called for a sec. My brain's gonna catch up and got it down as good as I could. And I was just gonna grind out the rest. And so with that, I have this cute little grinder I got off Amazon. I think it was like a hundred and something. And it made all the difference. And you gotta feed it and water it make it nice and happy that's it's not alive to make it so that the glass shaves nicely and also you're not gonna get powder glass which isn't great for your health so grinded her on down and made it nice and smooth and as close to the paper as possible right there where like it wouldn't fit we'll, we'll come back later with some smaller bits so just making sure that the edge is all done Come in here with this little grinder I got from Harbor Freight. I think that one was like eight bucks. And that tool was wonky, but it ended up working. And with that, we can just peel off the paper and clean off the piece of mirror or glass. And there was a crack. 
So, we're gonna try again. Got it to that point. And we're just gonna try cutting it out. And maybe by doing like smaller little U's instead of like the sharp V, I thought maybe that would work. But then I ended up breaking it and break it in half. So, we're gonna try again. This time, I think if I just start right there, doing like a U, nope, broke it. Cool, 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 let's try it again. So this time, we're just gonna do the U and then try to do another V, but not as close to the, oh, it doesn't matter, it was broken. So this time, I'm not even gonna do a U. I'm just gonna grind it out as much as possible and then come in with the little Dremel and just do so much grinding. And with that, I kept on re-wetting it to try to make sure I wasn't going to break it. Look how we did it. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Clean it off and there's no cracks and we're good to go. Hi. That was Marshall again. Oh, he's from the video I just posted. He helped me do a voiceover in the other video. So anyways, I'm now just going to break up each individual piece. Just trying to get them all separated. And then we're going to come back through and get it a little bit closer. Those are the ones that I messed up or like they broke. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to take off. Or they broke like not right. And so I had to redo them. And only three of them, so that's not too bad. So with that... With them cut out, we're now just going to grind them into the shape again, just getting as close as I can to the paper. And do that for all 131. Oh, well, just the white ones, there's 91 of them. So do all the white ones. And now just to make sure I have them all and that they fit. Good. Now to do it to the black ones. Oh, and this is JMO. No, this isn't JMO, but JMO helped cut out most of the black ones. Little sweetheart. Love that boy so much. So we cut them out and then I grinded them all down. And I feel like, honestly, by the end of this project, I got kind of good at glass work. Still a lot, oh, not good enough that I'm not hurting myself. I cut my arm somehow. Let's wipe that on the seat, I guess. Uh, and finish that, that was the last one. So with those all grinded down, just wash off my table. And we're gonna place them on place place them that sounds redundant place them all in place then just take off the tape and put them right back in into the slot that they be get they belong that way i don't mess it up because i if i mess this up I, it's gonna be just a terrible puzzle piece to put back together i took the mirror out because i'm going to prep that mirror and then just foil all of the pieces and that took even longer i don't know if that took longer but basically it took an entire day to foil all these pieces. No, a day's, maybe, that might not even be that excessive. It took so long. Ooh, to the extent that, again, I called JMO over as the second day, and he began helping me on that left side. And he was actually much quicker than I was. With it all foiled and all done, I was getting ready to prep the mirror, and while I was moving the mirror, I broke it. Fun, this is number seven. I think that's the seventh mirror I broke, or cracked. So before I make another one, pass me something to say. So I was going back through all my old videos to find my very first sponsor. And my very first sponsor was Squarespace on this pinback fun video with me and my old intro. Just wanted to give a huge thank you to all the people who have sponsored me from the very beginning. So guys, um, a huge thank you to all those who are supporting me with uh, making videos and whatnot. I was super excited when Squarespace reached out to me and said they were going to help me out with this video. I know how difficult it can be to start something new or you know, turn the idea that you have into reality. I think sometimes all we need is someone at the very beginning to give us that support and that belief in that we can make something rad. Squarespace kind of was that for me, you know, they, they're my first sponsor. But I mean, it makes sense. Their whole business is based on bringing success to you guys. Whether it's like an online store, it's a business, it's a portfolio, it's a blog. They have all the tools to make it successful, stand out, and so easy to do. You can get your website up and looking professional in an hour. And you can make that website for free if you click that link in my description. Plus, pass me will end this little ad read. So yeah, you guys can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash mood to get 10% off your first purchase, your first purchase, your first purchase. Cool. All right, we got a brand new heart mirror. And when I was like 
pushing the pieces together, I realized that they didn't fit quite as well as the last one. So there on the bottom, I had to like reshape them or grind them to shape. And I did the off camera right there. And that one now fits. And now I gotta try it again. I did that to like the white pieces too, but the black pieces just were easy to film. Or I don't know why I didn't film the white pieces. But did that, they fit, and then I had to refoil them, and we're good to go. That white piece doesn't fit super well, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna work. So took out the mirror again, and now we're gonna prep it. And to prep it, there's like these little spots on the edges where like the mirror back part was flaking off. And I thought maybe, oh, and I scratched a big chunk out, because I wanted to test and see if this uh, like spray paint glass or spray paint mirror effect would work to fix it. So I've just sprayed it on, especially in that spot with the big old hole, and then I let it dry. And yeah, I mean, it didn't work super well on that big spot, but I feel like it worked fairly decent there on the edges to kind of cover that up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on the actual heart one, Let's do that, and then also to prevent mirror rot, which is, it happens because the flux is like so corrosive. I coated it with some enamel, and that's gonna protect the mirror from eroding or getting mirror rot from the flex. So next, I'm gonna foil it. And when I was doing that, it wasn't sticking super well. And then I noticed when it, it like it peeled off, it was peeling off the silver stuff. And so I'm like, okay, let's just give it a nice raw edge. And by doing to do that, I was just gonna grind the edges again to get all of the paint off. And we should be good. It seems like, yeah, that looks good. And the mirror looks good, the edges look good. You can't see any of the like cracks or like flakes. So we're good. So next, you gotta flex it up. That's gonna help the solder stick to the copper foiling. And then as I was adjusting it, there was a gap there on the bottom. The thing I thought I was fixing, uh, it was back. I didn't actually fix it. I don't know what happened. So we'll fix that in a sec. So first I'm just going to put little beads down and to fix that I got a piece of paper and kind of cut it to the size of that glass piece a little bit bigger and put it in there and just cut it into the shape it needed to be until I had it perfectly fit, turned it into the glass, refoiled it and flexed it and then put some solder down and we're good to go. So now to do the outside edges so the whole piece won't really move and yeah we're good. Now we can, it's not going to move on me. So with that, I just began to shatter the whole thing down. I think in the last video I talked about a little bit how I switched soldering irons. It was wild the difference about how easy, how much easier it was to, to do this with this solder. And then also the, I don't know if this is different like solder, but it is the lead solder. And that, just that combo the new iron and the new solder just was so much easier and it flowed so nice so much nicer there we go that's what i'm trying to say so much nicer wow that s was really sharp i went for that was sharp on the mic so with it all done i went back through and smoothed out some edges and some spots not edges but some spots and then right there cleared it out and on the back jmo actually did that off camera and then i used some patina to make it all black and then I asked on Instagram if I should do all black or leave parts of it Better. silver. With it all blacked out. Hold please. I don't know. What are your thoughts? And they wanted it silver, so I kept it silver in some spots. So here we go. There it is. There's the stained glass barbed wire heart. Not croissants, not a bean. Oh, and the mirror rot. I think because I grinded the edges and I didn't recoat it, I'm getting that mirror rot, which sucks. Um, but you know, kind of, no one's gonna notice except for everyone who I've just told that there's mirror rot and that's seen this video and that looks at it. <laughs> but really stoked with how it turned out. I actually have a new way. I want to try this again, a simpler way. And so I might do another video or I might just do it on my socials. Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell notification, and yeah.